Hi, I'm Josh from the University of Laverne Small Business Development Center. And here at the SBDC, we help small businesses start and grow with free one-on-one -on -one consulting and free video resources just like this one. All the links will be in the cards above or in the companion article in the description below. Many of our small business clients who are looking to get into business lack the fundamentals of accounting to know how to judge the health of their business. In this first episode of a new series, I'll show you the basics of accounting, including financial sheets and how to use them. In this video, we're going to cover our very first financial statement, the balance sheet. I'll show you what a balance sheet is, the components of a balance sheet, and stay to the end on how you can use it for your business. All right, let's get right to it. So what is a balance sheet? A balance sheet is a financial statement that's a snapshot of your business's health. The balance sheet shows the business's net worth and it's broken down into three sections. Assets, liability, and equity. These three sections will always be in balance when looking at this document. This is the formula often associated with the balance sheet. Assets minus liabilities equals equity. Now, typically you'll see balance sheets annually at the end of the accounting year, either a calendar year or a fiscal year to show how the business did. These sheets are inherently historical, so they aren't as helpful as other statements, but they still have a wealth of information for your business. Now, as I mentioned before, the balance sheet consists of three sections, assets, liability, and equity. So let's dive into each component a little bit more. Our first section is assets. Basically, an asset is something your business owns that can be converted into cash. For example, if something was sold. Some examples of assets are cash in the form of revenue, like when you sell a product. The inventory that you have that you can sell to customers. Accounts receivable, which is money that you're owed for selling a product or service that you have yet to collect on. These are all considered current assets, or assets that you can quickly convert into cash. Long-term assets like land, building, furniture, or equipment can take more time and effort, but are actually still worth something. Liabilities are on the other side of this coin. This is what you actually owe to others. Like assets, liabilities can be current and need to be paid within a year, or long-term that are owed for longer than a year. Current liabilities are monthly expenses like taxes or accounts payable. This could include interest payments on a larger debt or mortgage or a business loan. The long-term liabilities could include the total amount of, say, an SBA loan that's yet to be paid off over years. Our final section is equity. This is sometimes called shareholders equity if you have shareholders like in a corporation or simply owner's equity if you're a sole proprietor. Equity is the total amount of money generated by the business or put into the business by its owner or shareholders. If you think about it this way, equity is the net assets illustrated by this formula. Equity equals assets minus liabilities. So as I mentioned before, the balance sheet is a historical snapshot of how the business is doing at a single point in time. However, there are some helpful things that you can use on the balance sheet that doesn't require a finance degree. Financial ratios are simple formulas that you can use to analyze or identify problems that may not be obvious by simply looking at the document. Now the first of these ratios is the current ratio, which tells you if you have enough cash and short-term assets or current assets to pay bills. So the current ratio equals current assets divided by current liabilities. And when taking a look at our example balance sheet, that would come out to 3.17. So a healthy current ratio is in the range of one and a half to two. But if it's higher than that, your business might be holding on to too much cash and you may want to invest that. Now, if you're looking at a product-based business, you may want to use the quick ratio, which is similar to the current ratio, but it removes the amounts for inventories for a more conservative estimation. Now the quick ratio equals current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. And again, with our example balance sheet, that comes out to 2.85. The final way you can use the balance sheet is by calculating your debt to equity ratio. This simply gives you the ratio of what is owed to what is owned. The debt to equity ratio is total liabilities divided by total equity. 
In the case of our example balance sheet, this comes out to 1.09. Now, many lenders will use this formula to check if a business is carrying too much debt to lend to. Now, generally speaking, a debt to equity ratio less than one is good and over two is bad. But you need to consider industry averages like lenders do before you jump to any conclusions. So the balance sheet is a helpful tool to evaluate the company's net worth and solvency using easy ratio formulas like I just showed you. As a business owner, you should be able to generate a balance sheet at least once a year for yourself or from your accountant to check on the health of your business. Now, ideally, you'll want to use statements like this quarterly or even monthly to get the most updated information to make informed decisions and manage your business. But let me know what you think. Do you use a balance sheet to check the health of your business? Let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get updates on all of our newest videos when they get published. Are you looking for help with checking the financial health of your business? Check out our interview with Professor Hassey as he helps you through the financial checkup for your business. You can check out that video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.